Due to the success of my last video on this topic, I had a feeling that I was going to come back to it anyways because so many people in these comments asked for a wireless option and I, I didn't know a wireless option. So I worked to try to find one on my old computer and I'm pretty sure I have at least one solution that may work for you. There is no guaranteeing that it will work and I am not to blame if it does not work. I'm also going to be going over the Ethernet option that I covered in this video, and that's basically it. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first option I'm going to cover is the Ethernet, and this was shown in the last video, except Windows 10 has changed around some things. You can still get there pretty easily, it's not that big of a deal. Um, there's two ways to get to the screen that you're going to want to be in. You can either type control panel, click it, and then scroll down to where you see network and sharing, and that'll take you here. And once you're here, you're going to you're gonna want to go to change adapter settings, and then it'll take you to this screen. This is the main screen you want to be on. And the other option is you come down to your Wi-Fi, right click it, open network and internet settings, go to Wi-Fi, and then change adapter options, and that'll take you here. All right, all right. So once you're here, you're gonna see Ethernet or Wi-Fi or both. Go to Ethernet, right click it, hit properties. Once you're here, go to configure. When this opens, hit advanced, go to network address, and you're gonna take, if it's on not present, then click this box, it's going to be empty for you. And then type in a completely random value, all right? When you're done typing in that random value, you hit OK. If you look down here, it just connected to me to my wireless. That's because this is rebooting. Once that's done rebooting, it'll, oh, yep, it's already back. And the reason we had to change that number is because the computer reads that as your, comp uh, the Wi-Fi reads that as your computer. So when you, can, when you change it, then the Wi-Fi will think, oh, it's a different computer. And that's kind of the computer stuff behind that. All right, so I'm going to go over the wireless option. Like I said, it's not guaranteed, but if you're desperate like I was, then you might want to try it. All right, go to your Wi-Fi, right click it, hit properties, go to configure, same thing, go to advanced, and then scroll down until you see local administered MAC address. It's going to be the same exact thing. You literally just type in a random value here, and that's basically all there is to it this worked for me once but then it didn't want to work for me again so that's just a warning for you all right anyways that's basically it i tried to keep this video short just like the last one hopefully it doesn't go too far over the last time because it was below two minutes let's see if we can get even better but if you like the video please like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot all right when that last video blew up, it like blew my mind, and I still can't believe that it's basically on 20,000 views. If, if you want me to look into more ways for the wireless option, then show me that with the like button and the comments, and I will try my best. Alright, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.